We will take in about 13,500 animals this year, uh, homeless animals, just here at the Sacramento SPCA alone. We do adoptions, we do dog training, we have a free behavior helpline, we run um, a series of summer camps, which are going on right now. We have a growing number of services for both humans and animals in the greater Sacramento region. We're at the Sacramento SPCA on Florin Perkins Road in Sacramento. Things that people should be on the lookout for, uh, signs of heat exhaustion include if temperatures rise above, say, 103, that's a serious condition. Um, people should be on the lookout for animals with excessive panting, uh, drooling, bright red gums, lethargy, indicate that an animal could be experiencing heat stress. If you do suspect that your animal is experiencing heat stress, we recommend that you uh, cool that animal down, not with ice cold water, but with cool water. Um, a hose, uh, a kiddie pool um, with some water in it, immediately alert your veterinarian and get that animal in because even if the animal starts to uh, show that they're feeling better, um, there still could be lingering after effects of, of that heat exhaustion. Five things that I think people should watch for in the summer, first and foremost, keep them out of the car, bring them in the house, if they must be outside, keep them cool, watch for fleas and ticks, um, Watch for other people's animals. Watch for those, you know, watch for the animal in the parking lot. Keep an eagle eye out for animals that might be under, under duress uh, in a heated car. Um, and know the signs of heat stress. Know your animal well enough to know if they're showing symptoms of, um, of heat stress or um, heat exhaustion.